These large cone-shaped spongy organs are your lungs. They play a vital role in bringing oxygen to your body. Oxygen enables your body to burn its fuel, the nutrients in the food you eat. The lungs are divided into the right and left halves. Your right lung has three lobes. Your left lung has two lobes with a notch to fit the bottom of your heart. An adult's lung can hold about three quarts of air. Since your lungs have no muscles of their own, the muscles around your chest do the work of breathing. Most of the work is done by a large, thin muscle at the base of your lungs, called the diaphragm. You usually breathe automatically, even if you're unconscious. In quiet breathing, the average adult inhales and exhales 16 times per minute. As you inhale, the air travels down your windpipe, or trachea, to the bronchi, which branch to enter the left or right lung. Bronchioles branch off the large bronchi and form many narrow passageways throughout the lungs. Each respiratory bronchial subdivides into five or more alveolar ducts, which are the narrow inlets into the alveolar sacs. The structure of the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveolar ducts, and alveolar sacs is often called the bronchial tree. As you can see, the extensive branching resembles the limbs and leaves of a tall, deciduous tree. Each alveolar sac contains ten or more alveoli and resembles a cluster of grapes. It is within the thousands of tiny alveolar chambers that oxygen is transferred through the membrane of the alveolar walls to the blood cells of the capillaries within. At the same time, waste gases diffuse out of the blood cells and into the air in the alveoli to be expelled upon exhalation. The alveoli are particularly susceptible to infection as they provide a warm and moist environment for bacteria and viruses to grow. This accounts for the tendency for a chest cold or other lung problem to advance to pneumonia and pneumonitis, both potentially dangerous conditions in which the innermost parts of the lungs become infected and inflamed, diminishing airflow and the transport of fresh oxygen through the body. Your body must have a constant supply of fresh oxygen and nutrients in order to stay alive.